Hey guys, and welcome back to Pixel Cherry Ninja's channel. Guess what we're looking at today? So the maker of Shader Glass has made a brand new app, guys, and it is freaking amazing. Call it a sister app or a side quest, whatever you want to call it. We'll have a look at that in just a second. But I wanted to have a look at Shader Glass because if you don't know what Shader Glass is, it is amazing. So when we want to plug devices in to like an upscaler, like the more 4K or the retro tink, uh, what we do, we can plug whatever, Sega Saturn in there, PlayStation 2 or Super Nintendo, and we can get all these beautiful visual effects. But hey, you know what? If you want to do stuff on your PC, you can use something like Shader Glass. It means you're not investing in any additional hardware. Your PC is doing the work for you. It is an amazing app, right? I've even had people where they have shared images, screenshots that they've taken with Shader Glass, and people can't believe it's just the PC up running. They're like, no, man, that's got to be a retro tink 4K. That's got to be a more 4K. That's got to be an OSSC, some, some kind of scaler out there. But no, it is just a vanilla PC. Here's a video that I did earlier. So here I am running that Spider-Man game. I really need to complete that. My back clog is just so darn big but here you go it's running normally and i'm going to start applying i'm going to bring out the window i'm going to run those effects on there so you're going to see and you can just swap them on the fly this is shader glass right this is the previous app we're going to look at the newer one and you can just go through all the different presets that are available it's got lots of the retro arch ones it's got like a vhs one it's got crt scan lines it's got lots and lots of stuff there now you may not be seeing this great because it's a YouTube video running on YouTube that I'm filming again and showing you again on YouTube, but it's just for you guys to get the idea. And you can literally move that window around wherever you like. It is amazing. When I saw this, I was absolutely blown away. But hey, the developer of this is working on something new. And here they are introducing, let's play that video. We'll play it full screen in a second as well. So introducing Shader Beam, Shader Glass sister app, focusing on applying Blurbusters CRT beam simulation technology to Windows desktop. Right, Blurbusters, they're the people I think that have been working with RetroTink to get black frame insertion going on that on 4K on really, really high refresh rates like 240 hertz. So amazing to see that they're working with Mazimus for something. Well, as long as you've got a PC, there is no investment out there. All you need to do is just download this app and play around with it. Now, I haven't done a video yet where I'm playing around with it. I do want to get to do it, but I wanted to get this out there first. So you guys out there that want to try these effects can try it. Essentially, you can run something even via OBS and add effects to it. I mean, the, the, the choices there are so many choices out there so re-experience the motion clarity of crts on a modern higher refresh rate display uh, free and open source there you go so you can add to it link in reply if you do want to check that out so uh, blurbusters over here here you go these are the guys over here absolutely amazing with the stuff that they do but going over to the github you can see you can get that release over there now look requirements higher refresh monitor 100 hertz or more uh, and 240 hertz recommended so you don't have to have a 4k one i think my one here is like a 187 an ultra wide screen monitor i've got i think it's like 1440p is it called 2k people always say don't call it 2k but you know it's ultra wide i've got that one then i've got a 4k one but the 4k monitor i have is only 60 hertz so i probably can't use it on that so maybe i can do a, a 1080p one or i can um i can do a 1440p one but i would like to test it out but let's have a look at that video full screen and we can see what mazimus is trying out here you can see there on the little window there display hertz 239.77 content fps is 60 so you're kind of you're going four times that amount and you're inserting stuff in there. So render FPS 239 point, well, it's changing 72, 75, 79, and then captured FPS, and it's got like the number changing there. But this is played in slow motion. So essentially what it does, it simulates a CRT better. This is just freaking amazing. People pay for upscalers in the hundreds of pounds, some even close to like a thousand dollars. But you know what, guys, this is something that you can do on your PC, provided you've already got a display with a high refresh rate. So really, really cool. Imagine this is freaking amazing the work that they do is amazing they've made some really really good games as well and shader glass is just amazing and to fire to the thing that they've now got this which better simulates crt on your pc it's just absolutely amazing so guys just wanted to get this out there quick video absolutely awesome let me know what you think let me know if you try it let me know if you have already tried it and what kind of results you're getting i definitely want to try this i want to give it a shot but i am kind of pressed for time i did a video earlier and i've got a few chores to do later so i thought let me just get the message out there because this is freaking amazing anyway guys be freaking awesome to one another this is pixel cherry ninja out